governments should listen more to what's going in the classroom. I'd like to think that um, in New South Wales, for example, at the moment, our, our Minister for, for Education in New South Wales listens quite a bit to teachers and to students as well. Um, and I, uh, I saw this morning clearly in, in New Zealand, they're doing great stuff um, around listening to students. Yesterday, I listened to the presentation by um, the speaker from Taiwan about how a student protest led to curriculum change because the government listened to what the, the, the message was from that protest. And I think that's, um, that's what government has to do. They have to listen. They've got the resources to enact projects and multiple projects. I love the fact that Finland is experimenting with 100 projects, whereas I think most of the time, big government departments say, okay, we've got one focus. We're doing STEM for the next five years. We're doing STEM and everyone else has to fall in line. And you say, but m maybe in six months time, STEM's not the way to go and we need to reiterate and, and that sort of thing. But uh, yeah, so I'd like to think governments have a role in listening, collecting all the best thinking, all the best evidence that we've got at a particular moment in time and then making um, decisions in dialogue with the specialists in that particular area and the people on the ground to actually make change happen in a positive way. So, and to talk to each other, of course, as well. Um, but sometimes the best thing government can do is sort of take a step back and what they leave is trust. And they leave trust with principals and with system leaders and with teachers and students in the classroom and say, you know what, you guys have this. We'll monitor how things are going. We'll give you resources when you need it. But you know what, we've got standards in place. We've got standardised testing in place. We've got all this stuff in place already. We trust you, off you go.